story for him raping a girl. Like the ghost, <laughs> he likes the, the, ghost the, the ghost stole his semen. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. How did that get there? Uh, hmm. he stole it. it just and then it was there. a ghost. And the ghost then he stole my semen for his me, life then, force. The ghost raped the girl. <laughs> Tell him what he's won. <laughs> I like that story. I he like just that likes story. to get yeah, pegged by Zuckerberg. Story. It took a little while. I got a quick one. It'll literally nice. take me 30 seconds. This one's called Ghost Van. Mm. All right. <laughs> Ghost okay, Van. Ghost Van. Can you imagine how badass that is? <laughs> like a big old 80s van just fucking cruising down the road. Wow, that's cool, dude, because ghosts are usually from the 1800s. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but not a, nor- not a not a kid, not a teenager that King died Diamond in the eighties head on car crash. Ghost man, ghost it, man, you don't get. Is it ghost man or van? Van. Oh, does it say tr- uh, trust on the side of it? Well, it's got a big ass dragon on the side, smoking a big doobie. <laughs> okay, it's a rate van, a rate van called Trust. Yeah. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Once, there was this man, and his name was George. Every single kid in the neighborhood loved him because he was the ice cream man. He came around every single Friday night. Nobody ever went out to eat on Fridays. Everybody stayed home. But one night, he didn't come. The kids thought he was just confused and went to his house to tell him. They saw Mr. George, but he was dead. Nobody knew how he died. (laughs) One Friday, all the kids were home, and they saw Mr. George Van was coming around. They got confused and went outside to see who it was. Nobody was in the van. When the van drove away, someone got in the driver's seat and said, Poor Mr. George! All right, Alex, you tell yours and then I do have to go. Okay. Uh this one is called <laughs> I just do lightning the entire time I'm on. Alright. This one's called Ted. A man leaves his house every morning to walk to work and passes a mental hospital surrounded by a wooden fence. Every morning, the patients are out in the yard saying the same fucking words over and over again. Ten. 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 One day he gets curious and looks through a hole in the fence. (laughs) (laughs) Thomas is lost. (laughs) Ten. One day he gets curious and looks over the fence. Looks through the hole in the fence. Suddenly a stick shoots out and pokes him in the eye. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> he says to himself. While walking away pissed off, he can hear the patient saying, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm happy you continued with the ten. Because I, th- I thought you switched. I thought you switched to ten. <laughs> How many times did you say ten? I, I lived it. I said it five times. I just kept going to make so, it see how long it took to get. So every time someone poked their eye, then it was a new number. It's a new number. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty <laughs> good. Isn't it? Then one oh, day. Man. I took some artistic licensing with that one. Some one day, autistic license. His brother walked by the hole, and he bent over. It was <laughs> eleven, eleven, eleven. He pulled his pants down. Twelve. <laughs> Ooh, that's all twelve. <laughs> oh my god, was that German? I don't know. Oh, I'm the little Dutch <laughs> boy. Das twelve. Das I'm the little dust boy for here for my sticky. Oh, dust van! Dust van! <laughs> dust van! Dust van! <laughs> Anyways. I'd just like to know that that thing's moved since we've been here. Oh, has it? it has not. Fuck off out of here. <laughs> Look what letter it's on now. I didn't do that. Look, what's it, what number is that, Thomas? Uh, six. <laughs> 
So they have a Ouija board. <laughs> it's a Ouija on the no- board. Why is the Ouija board on the number six? <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was right there the entire time. No, nope. I haven't. Oh, my. Power came back and it was at six. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, listen, just be careful. You know. With the ice cream man, just don't put a don't, you know, just don't put a lot of trust in your in your ice cream man. Sometimes the ice cream man ain't ain't as safe and trustworthy as uh as as you think he is. Sometimes he's he's not even in the van. You know, that's 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 a huge <clears throat> that's a huge trust issue. So know who's <laughs> behind that wheel. Um what do you got, Chris? I'm scared. <laughs> 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 ah, what well you got? Thomas, uh, get hit him with something. Um, <laughs> make sure that uh, you hug your loved ones because you may be hanging from the middle of a room one day. Alex? Whoa! <laughs> oh, ten. <laughs> I want to stop doing that. <laughs> you smell different when you're awake. <laughs> 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 all right well with that said um i hope everybody enjoyed the creepypasta episode uh maybe we'll do this at at a at, at 40 at 44 maybe we'll do it at uh every time we double yeah. so um this is episode 22 and um yeah, yeah, yeah. hey mamas yeah, yeah. You know what the scariest word in the world is what's that what moist aloha akaba that's just two words dude let's sit right here in cora uh, is that terrorist? That's like two before words. they blow themselves up? <laughs> Did you say Allah Akbar? <laughs> that is two words. <laughs> I thought you were about to say, oh, no, 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 no. Cut that out, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave it. Fuck it. <laughs> well, Thomas, you want to hit him with some ways that uh, you should get in touch with oh, us? Um, and I'll reiterate, I'll preface it that the same, but mm. um, reach out to us, send us emails, like send us pictures, uh, send us tell us what you like about it. Yeah, just yeah. Send, send us anything you like and send us stuff you hate. Fuck it. Yeah, we love your reviews, good or bad. Um, tell us what we can improve on. Uh, if you send us a picture, we'll post it on Instagram. I mean, within reason. We'll blur it out. Um, send us uh, questions. If you've got questions that you think we would enjoy answering, ask us a question. We would love to, we would love to help you out on your, in your journey in life. I can see you sleeping. So, with that said, Thomas, how can they get in touch with us? Yeah, if you enjoy our show, make sure to search Tack Lab on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. You can support us at patreon.com slash TacLab. Make sure you leave some feedback, a comment, or a good review, wherever you're listening. You can also reach us at TacLabPod at gmail.com. That's T-A-C-T-L-A-B-P-O-D at gmail.com. Leave us a comment. Do whatever. Send us an email. We love everybody. Thank you.